on, boys and girls. Game we're gonna play uh, tonight. I'm gonna do this. Probably play about an hour or so of this. Is uh, Murder House from Puppet Combo. If you're not familiar with Puppet Combo, they're a uh, indie horror gaming company. I uh, support them on Patreon. They're really awesome. I don't know what kind of genre of horror they would be. It's like the ones that make you feel uneasy. They're kind of the ones that are just like, oh, you know, you just kind of feel weird about. And I like the whole PlayStation One. Uh, type feel to their game. So we're going to play a little bit of that. I have played this before. Uh, I got probably a third into the game and then didn't pick it up. So I kind of want to uh, go a little bit farther tonight. So we're going to go right to the murder house. Looks like we're here. Ew, this place? I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. Dude, just smoking a fucking cigarette in the car. That was back in the day, man. You're lucky you have this after the incident with the poodle. That could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Where the hell is the real estate agent? Gave him 50 bucks to let us shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, Inter. What's your name again? Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. Alright, so this game's got like the old school tank controls. This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled a tendon at track practice and I don't think I can run for very long. So I like how they kind of like give the backstory. It's like, how can somebody that's young like have a stamina bar that like depletes like a freaking 80 year old woman? Well, they put that in the store. I, I like those little details because that's the reason why there's a stamina bar and why it drains so fast. So she needs a break before she can walk again. Okay. Okay, so a lot of this is tank. It's gonna take me a little bit because it's really clunk. It's uh, I wouldn't say it's clunky, but it's like, it's like driving a big ass fucking like, seventies freaking Lincoln. You know, it's just like you have to take the turns wide. It's like driving a semi truck. It's just like having the like, like you can't take sharp edges. Like the one thing I did like about like the Resident Evil, tank controls is like. You could, like, tank, boom, get right to where it's at, you know? Like, this one's more kind of, like, sloppy movement. Like, you're on, like, a little sheet of ice. Sure is creepy in here. Well, fuck yeah, it's creepy in here. Fucking went in somebody's basement. Cabinet is locked. Make a great hiding spot. Okay. Okay. So there's tons of places to hide from the fucking, the uh, serial killer. Hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like someone broke the lock on the basement window and got in the house since the last time I was over here. They stole the goddamn fuse, so the power's out. Don't worry, I know there's another fuse around here somewhere. I left the front door open just in case I don't hear from you guys driving up. Just shout for me when you get inside. Yeah, man, he ain't shouting for shit, dude. Good work, you got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No, the house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Ew, it's musty. Chop, chop, it's time to hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. Got the case. Yes. The lights are set up, but there's no power in this house. Damn it. I better tell someone. Okay. Wow. This is a 
cool house. Dude, it's just freaking hot boxing that stogie over there. Let's get rolling. The power's out. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. God, Gary, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you, Gary. This is where it starts getting weird. It's like letting you kind of explore around and shit. Okay, there's definitely something back here that you can, like, push. Can't move it myself. No power. Nice. Oh, there's a key. Or a pencil. Alright, so the pencil helps you save your progress, which is huge. I mean, you can only use, I think, one pencil equals, like, two save points. Holy fuck, dude. I forgot there's, like, jump scares. I forgot about the jump scares and shit. All right, so I got the fuse. Now it's time to go downstairs. Yeah, not time to look in there. Okay. So that's all the pencils. Hey, the power's back up. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right, good. Everything set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's roll. Hey, Gary. I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. <laughs> I hate this job. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country. His horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight, we'll go inside his vacant home, where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced tears inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut. Let's take a break. Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 minutes, Dana. <laughs> it's channel fucking nine. We're not here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. It's kind of that lull where it's like building that tension up. Like, okay, when's it gonna fucking happen? When's this gonna start getting crazy? talking. Can you fetch me a glass of water? Sure. Dude, I would not be drinking anything out of the fucking taps of this house. You gotta be fucking fucking me, dude. Yeah, I'll take the fucking mug. Okay, got her fucking water. Hey, sure. Here you go. 
Thank you. Wait, did you wash this? <laughs> yes. Oh, I just remembered. I found this key lying around. See if you can find a real store. And maybe we can get hired on a real network. Hey, what are you goofing around for? Set those lights up and let's get rolling. We're putting people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no one's going to want to watch this boring thing. And your dry reporting isn't helping. I'm reading the teleprompter. People want to see ghosts. Okay, intern. When Danny says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right, let's do this. Action. The rampage started in late March 1979, when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Two years later... What was that? Tom, did you get that? I apologize to the viewers at home, but I see <laughs> energy pass by behind me. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. Cut! This is rating school. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Jesus fuck, dude. I'm going to go use the restroom. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. Use the station credit card. Alright, I think this is the key to, to save the game, is what it is. Bam. Did you find anything juicy yet? Not yet, but I think I'm onto something. This house is full of locked rooms. I think there's something hidden here that nobody knows about. Good work. And don't mention this to anybody. Especially Gary. He'll steal any story from us. Alright, so we're getting ready to start to uh, get into the fucking thick of it here. Um, until I get the pizzas, the story won't progress, so I'm kind of just w wanting to talk with the rest of the crew real quick. Trying to see if there's any items that I can pick up beforehand before shit gets, or it really gets fucking crazy. What's taking so long? I can't function on an empty stomach. Sorry, I I'm going to go soon. Soon? Make it pronto. You know, this is a nice room. Let's film in here next. Got it. That is a good point. Will I take the crowbar? Fuck yeah. Alright, we're gonna see if we can actually use the crowbar on something. I can't remember what we uh, what I used it on before. Okay. Expecting something horrible. Okay, now I got the doorknob. So I believe the doorknob is for up here. But we'll take a look. Bullshit it is. 
Let's take a look in here. Okay, I got the fire poker. So, I gotta remember how to use this. So what is, how do I fucking aim this shit? It's pretty sharp. So this is the one thing I couldn't figure it out the last time I played it, because I was I'm a, like, oh my God, I'm afraid to do it right now. I was like accidentally fucking the game up and like restarting it, you know, just by, by doing my buttons. I might just go ahead and save it. Just because I need to figure that out. Ah. Got it. Wow, it's wanting me to use the mouse for that. Nowhere to go now. Looks like we'll be playing a game. You'll be hunting eggs. I'll be hunting you. Find them all and you can leave. Don't find them and you can't. Where are the pizzas? There's something going on here. The van has been wrecked and the gate is locked. Where's Tom? I don't know. I, I can't find him either. Ugh, must be the goddamn real estate agent. I told you you'd get another 50 bucks when we were done. Come out, you chicken shit. <laughs> Damn it, Gary. It's getting dark and this place is scary and gross. Can we finish this? Fine. I don't know where the hell Tom is. So you're going to have to hold the camera. What? I don't know how to work this. It's easy. Just hold it steady. That's about it. Okay. Action. This is Dana Turner on location. I've just been informed that we're stuck here. Someone has wrecked our van and we can't get our fucking pizza lunch promised by my producer. <laughs> is Anthony Smith executed in the electric chair in 1985 back from the dead and back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it, Dana. Cut. I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. Fine. We'll take a break. Hey, intern girl. See if you can find where the hell Tom is. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, it's Tom. Tom, I didn't think I would find you. This is getting weird. Do you think the Easter Ripper is back? It looks like we're stuck here. All the doors are locked. Look, I found a key, but I can't figure out what it opens. Let me see. You take it. Maybe you can find the door. I'm going to go look for another way out. I'll catch you later. Help me! There's somebody else in here! He did not like that. Okay, so I can fuck him up. I've never been able to do that before. Okay, so we got a pencil.
Okay. Whoa. Handgun. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, fucking save the game. I get three bullets with that. Okay, I gotta remember exactly where to go here, because I gotta be fucking like very methodical about what I where I go. Right? So I had the I got those upstairs drawers, which was great it was a great play. Okay, cool. He's go he's gone. So let's think about this real quick. He's still looking around, he doesn't know where I'm at. The kitchen has a lot has, has some drawers in there that are locked. There's one drawer that's locked, and then I can run outside. Now, I don't know if he can get me outside or not, which he probably can, because I think this is the only place that I can stay in. But I got, uh, I'm got i way more confident now because I've got three more save points. I've got an egg. I can get an egg out here. What I want to do is grab the egg and then go around and then fucking make my way downstairs. I think if I do that, hit hit the kitchen, and then go down and hit that. There's only one more drawer down there. And then there's like some doors. I don't think, I think I'm gonna have to go up to that door and down a little bit. I've got a, I think I got a pretty good shot. Got it. Perfect. Okay. I got a lot of shit done right there. Sounds like he went upstairs, which I don't want him to be at. Because I'm going to have to get another fight with him, get to danger, and then use the med kit. And then that means I only get like two more shots at him, right? See, so he's right there, dude. Okay, cool. The big buddy watches us. Its big black eye follows me when I move. It always watches. At night we hear noises coming from the walls. The first time I hear them I got happy because I thought you and mommy shouting for me, coming to save me. But it wasn't. When the shouting starts, the others cover their ears, but I try and listen. I put my head against the wall and hold my breath, but no matter how hard I try, I can't understand what they are saying. They shout and cry a lot. It isn't mommy, and it isn't you, but it sounds like adults, and they sound sad, really sad. Did the Easter Bunny take them too? Dana is dead! Help me find an exit! <gasps> no! Whoa! I'm chilling. I'm gonna wait till this shit's he's gone. I hear him. He's lurking.
gives me time to kind of think, though, if I'm underneath here. He isn't gonna. He'll come back in here, but he won't see me. He has to get a glimpse of me. So where could the? What could I do with that black light? I ain't moving until the music changes. There we go. chill under here for a second until we figure this out black light so where would that go we got two saves left I think it's worth it so that if we have to go back to that save we can all right this is like a save to like try to find out where the fuck I use that black light at. So this is gonna be merely just sucking, uh, dicking around, trying to find out where to go. So the black light is here. I've got a first aid kit. Still got the letter opener. And I got a handgun. I'm thinking I have to go in the basement again, right? Or outside. Try outside. Okay. It's gotta be downstairs, right? Alright, I gotta think about this for a second. Give myself a little bit of cushion here. Should glow blue, I guess. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? A black light bulb. It should glow blue, I guess. I need to find something to use it on. Where has there been anything that I could use it on? We're, I'm locked inside completely, right? Up in the attic? There was a light up there, I guess. Okay, so figured that out, but wh how does that help me?
what Okay, we used all the pencils, right? That's okay. We're, we're getting through this. So here's what we got. Cool, 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 cool. I am sticking with the poker for right now because I still think that's like the best option. I've only got, I got, I got a rope, an old rope. It's splitting, but it should still be of use. I got the first aid kit. I got, I got a gun. This will give me a chance to kind of use the gun if I need to. What do I use the rope for? Dude, I'm a fucking genius, man. estate agent. Dude, it's fucking hair raising. No pun intended, right? So let's think about this. I got the egg. What else is there? Is, is, is it like, should I try to kill this guy? Is that what the deal is? I feel like I gotta lure this guy out to fucking like, but I mean, I still gotta go outside, you know? There's still something, there's still something outside that I'm missing. Oh man, I'm fucking like all weirded out. Sorry. Okay, that's where he's at. Okay, do you see that shit? You see, you see how she auto-aimed like that? That motherfucker was in that room right there, dude. She fucking straight up auto-aimed at him. So I gotta be careful because, um, I mean, I got a health kit and shit, but there's two more eggs that I gotta get. It's fucking, okay, yeah, I hear him. You hear that shit? That's fucking hilarious, man. I, didn't, I never even knew that was a thing. So I know exactly where he's at. This is like the Silent Hill fucking, or uh, the Resident Evil, like, Moonlight Sonata. Oh, shit. That was it. Alright, 
so I got I got them all. So what do I do? It's locked. We're locked inside. Where is a place that I haven't checked at? Somebody's screaming. It's open now. What the fuck? All right, we're gonna use the uh, health kit just in case. It's Tom. Tom? That's right. It was quiet. Innocent Tom. Harmless. Walk all over him, Tom. Mama's boy, Tom. Well, I did. I killed them all. But why? To avenge my brother. Anthony wasn't the Easter Ripper. I was! He turned himself in to save me. Shit. I thought I could control the urge to kill, but it's back. And now, I'm going to kill you! What the fuck? Fuck you, dude. Got him. Holy shit, dude. Kids that he fucking killed. Get away from me. You, you can't do this. I killed you. Dude, that was a little fucking intense. I'm glad I kept all those fucking bullets to the end. Holy shit, dude. The motherfucker was tanking all that. Well, that was Murder House. Wow, I'm like, I'm kind of pissed that I didn't finish this like back in uh, December of last year. This game was fucking excellent, dude. You needed like, even if you would have hit, you, I guess if you would have hit, if I would have hit him with all of those bullets, all 13 of them, then that probably would have knocked him dead. But, dude, like, it gave me, like, such adrenaline. No, and, like, I was like, oh, shit. Like, it, switching in this game is fucking hard as fuck. So I, like, had to, like, stop, press Z, put the fire poker on, turn around. I'm like, all right, cool, man. I'm going to try to fucking, you know, 
hammer this guy out. Jesus fuck, dude. 